as long as I'm doing the gigging, I might as well upload videos and share what goes on in my market. I'm picking up a delivered delivery. My day is starting a little later than usual. I'm picking up in a few moments, 20 after 11. That's a little late. Usually I leave a little earlier than that, 9.30ish, between 9.30 and 10.30. So I'm happy I got this $30 payout. I'm driving it down the road and I'm going to hope to get a spark or shipped. Yesterday I heard on Gig Life with Lexi. She popped up on my feed, like I opened up YouTube, she popped up and I was like, what is this? Somebody bought Grubhub? And I never heard of a company called Wonder. You know, Wonder Bread, <laughs> but not Wonder. I think she used the company name Wonder. So I'll be looking into that this week. I really thought Amazon was buying Grubhub. Maybe it didn't work out for them. Because I know with Prime, if you order through Prime as a Prime customer and you get Grubhub, you get free delivery and all other fees are less. They're lower. Do I need to do this? Oh. You know, I will. I don't like to park right in front in the fire lane because I might walk in, you know, when I walk in, they might say, oh, we need another 10 minutes and I feel stupid. But I like to get where the ramp is so I can roll it up and down the ramp evenly without spilling anything. I'll never forget that. That was a very bad day for me. I was in a lot of pain. But when you are a struggling entrepreneur, you do stuff like that. So thank you, Gig Life with Lexi. I'll be keeping an ear out for that. So here we go. I did receive a $23 tip from a Spark shop yesterday. I shopped at a local stop and shop. I completed two Sparks after I did a few errands and then a stop and shop one town away. And she, I was buying, ooh, I was buying products for a food drive. And she was getting three cans of everything, three boxes of stuffing, three things of gravy. And I had to do substitutions. They're already wiped out. The name brand staples. So there was a few items. She said, get something that's the same, just a different brand. So I did what she asked me to do. Not only was she giving to the someone in need, you know, participating in that, she gave me a $23 tip. So at least I earned 95 bucks yesterday and I was only out, you know, maybe six hours and I did other things. You know what I mean? I don't so believe I mentioned there. it. It's a little breezy, but it's beautiful outside again. It's supposed to be like this all week until Thursday. It's just gorgeous, beautiful. I'm walking around just like this, no jacket crazy I just completed that delivery and while I was in there delivered sent tomorrow's offer I took it $40 payout $800 worth of guac food from the Garden City store I took it because I'm delivering to an office I'm familiar with I don't mind making two trips as long as I can use my cart, it's a good workout. You know, for me, that's a workout. And I'm really happy. I'm like, all right, I want another day down. It's almost Thanksgiving. I can't wait to just be in my home and not have to, I have stuff to do. I'm so looking forward to it. I believe last week I had to update the app. Or maybe because I've completed so many deliveries. They're sending this now. I might as well do a screen recording. It's the Target in Westbury. But do you see here? Two orders. 23 plus 8. That means two drop-offs. You get it? Maybe you have to complete a certain amount of deliveries before they start offering you 
double shops. So, you know, I, I haven't taken one yet. I just noticed it yesterday. Here's something I've noticed with Spark since last week. When I have my VPN on, it's a it protects your identity when you're online. This pops up. Have you connected to a prohibited app or service? So now I'm going to turn off the VPN. It's letting me go on now. Letting me sign in. Okay, let's see if I get some offers. The map is saying it's orange and red. Let's see what happens. I'm in Beth Page on Hempstead Turnpike. All right. I got a Spark 2465. I live in Freeport. The drop-off is in Freeport. I'm not going to come back here today. I'm going to call it a short day because I have to do laundry. I don't have a choice. I, I've been postponing it. <laughs> I have to do it. So I'm going to finish out the day in Freeport. I will check shipped. And if I happen to get a short shift in town, I'll complete one more. But that's it. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Last out. night, I was browsing through the shipped app. And you see, they sent this several times. Unlock more orders. They sent it again. Get certified. I remember this with Instacart. Heads up. Alcohol delivery is coming soon to your metro. This means you can boost your order offers and earning potential by becoming certified to deliver orders containing alcohol. I'll do it. Earn a bonus. Earn $24 by completing six orders. Okay, there was one more other thing to show you. Because I've been browsing through the app. Say hello to orders from a new retailer. It's official. Starting soon, you'll be able to claim orders from the fresh market in Long Island. I believe, you know, I have to look it up. I thought, you know, fresh market was Amazon, but I could be wrong. So then you have to learn more. You tap on learn more and it tells you, like, do they want you to go through self-checkout? Some stores want you to use the cashiers. And right here, no, the fresh market would like shoppers to use a checkout lane with a store attendant. That's each store has their own way of, you know, letting you pay for the goods, how they work with shipped. This is why you need to read all the details, learn more with each store they work with because they all do it differently. Here's another one. It's new. Say hello to orders from a new retailer. It's not a new retailer, but it's new on the shipped app. It's official. Starting soon, you'll be able to claim orders from Ulta Beauty at Target in Long Island. That's Long Island, New York. You're going to find two retailers underneath the same roof. And it's because they probably... It Increases the odds of foot traffic because now we are shopping online more. I'm finding myself doing it more and more through an app, through my computer, shopping online, let it get delivered to my door. And it, cut, it cuts down the cost of running a store. The same thing happened, it was in the past five years. Sephora can be found in many Kohl's. They decided to do business together years ago. I remember this and it's still working in Long Island. Baskin and Robbins and Dunkin Donuts underneath one roof. You know, it, it slices the cost down, you know, the expenses. And it increases the odds of people still coming into your store to retailers underneath one roof. It's smart. You have to do it. It's just another shift. Another change of the times.